I'm outside Mar-a-Lago, the Florida home of the former president of America, Donald Trump, that was raided by the FBI in an unprecedented move. Never happened before. Federal agents moving in to search a former president's home. As you can see, a lot of his supporters have turned out to express their outrage and anger and support for the former president. He's been investigated, we're told, by a senior US government official because of allegations that he removed and abused and misused presidential records, potentially a breach of the Presidential Records Act. He's alleged to have taken 15 boxes of documents and other materials, some of them classified, after leaving the White House and bringing them here. Most of that has been returned, uh, according to investigators, but this search was something to do with that. The legal jeopardy that puts him in isn't really clear until we know exactly what agents found here. And not many people are saying much. The Department of Justice, the FBI saying nothing at all. The White House simply saying that it wasn't told anything about this raid until it happened. And Donald Trump himself isn't saying much either, saying that uh, his home was besieged by agents and uh, in a, uh, an address he gave uh, to supporters, he said it would have been a strange day. What it means for him politically, I think, is probably a bit clearer. A lot of anger from his supporters, both here but also on television and on the media, and they are using this to paint Donald Trump as a victim again. The great maverick president, the disruptor, the anti-politician who went to Washington to drain the swamps in Washington, they're saying has been targeted again by corrupt elites. And some of them are urging the president, the former president, to use this to announce his candidacy in 2024. So it's generating a lot of political heat, and I think it's fair to say that much of that currently is in Donald Trump's favour.